Hello Wastelanders, this is Kato Genesis, and welcome to the final guide of unique equipment for Fallout 3. In this video we will be obtaining the one of a kind weapons, armor, and apparel that can be found in broken steel. Thanks to the Fallout Wiki, I will be showing you the basic stats of each piece in this format. Let's begin, shall we? After the events of Project Purity, the Brotherhood tasks you with taking out the Enclave for good. About midway through this expansion you will end up in the Presidential Metro. In one of the large stairwells of the Presidential Metro, you will find someone's remains and a holodisc next to them. It contains a very sappy and somewhat sad apology from one wasteland lover to another. It also tells you to bring this message to La Maison Beauregard Hotel in East Georgetown. Inside you will find a Talon Company bounty hunter by the name of Lagbolt, and being he wasn't expecting you, he will attack on sight. There are three pieces of equipment in here, and the first two you will probably get first is Lagbolt's combat armor and shades. Lagbolt's shades will give you a damage resistance of 1 and a bonus to your lockpick and sneak skills by 3, whereas the combat armor will give you a damage resistance of 38, a 10 point bonus to your maximum action points, and 10 points to your big gun skill. Where he was pacing impatiently, you will also find a suitcase. Inside this suitcase you will find the all-nighter nightwear. This is part of a matching set with the Naughty Nightwear. It has a damage resistance of 1 and increases your endurance and charisma by 1. After that slight detour, the quest progression will lead you to Adams Air Force Base after a ride in the Presidential Subway. In Adams Air Force Base, you will find four of these unique items. After you pass through all the hangars, you will find yourself at the Mobile Base Crawler. If you take a trip further down the runway, you will see the Adams Storage Facility, where you will find the Rapid Torch Flamer. This unique flamethrower has a damage of 16 and a damage over time of 2 per second for 5 seconds, a critical damage of 1, and a critical chance multiplier of 0.5. This has a high AP cost like most heavy weaponry, but its fire rate is much faster than the other flamethrowers. This releases flames fast enough to be fired as if it were a semi-automatic flamethrower. Try rapidly tapping the fire button next time you have this flamethrower, and you'll see what I mean. The next three unique pieces are in the mobile base itself, and the next is a flamethrower called the Slow Burn Flamer. This can be found in the Deathclaw Lab section behind a force field. It has a higher damage and damage over time of the Rapid Torch Flamer because it uses 3 ammunition per shot with an identical critical chance and multiplier. This one may be a better alternative if you have a surplus of Flamer Fuel. The next two can be found in the Armory, specifically equipped to the Armory Master. The weapon he carries is called the Precision Gatling Laser. It has a base damage of 8 and a critical damage of 6, and though it has less damage than the Vengeance, its critical chance multiplier is substantially increased, so players with a high critical chance will find this Gatling Laser more effective. After you take down the Armory Master, you will also notice that he has a Composite Recon Helmet. Compared to the regular Recon Helmet, the damage resistance has not changed, but like many other types of headwear, you now gain a bonus to Perception, making it fairly worthwhile to obtain. The eighth and last item on this list is Callahan's Magnum. After climbing your way to the top of the mobile base crawler, you are given the choice to call down a tactical strike on the mobile base itself or on the Citadel. The only way to obtain this Magnum is to turn your back on the Brotherhood of Steel, and this will forfeit some repeatable quests. But if you decide to punch a massive hole through the hopes and dreams of Elder Lions, you will gain access to the Brotherhood Armory. Inside and next to a desk with an active terminal, you will find Callahan's Magnum inside a safe. This unique scoped 44 even surpasses the Black Hawk in all aspects. Its base damage is 65, critical damage is 50, critical multiplier is 2, and action point cost is 25. This, my Wastelanders, is the most powerful handgun in the game. For lore purposes, probably not worth destroying the Brotherhood of Steel, but for collective purposes, this is a must-have. The choice, as always, is yours. And that, my lone wanderers, is all the unique weapons, armor, and apparel you can find in the Broken Steel expansion. If you found this video useful, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And show some thumbs to indicate to other viewers whether this is worth viewing or not. Thanks for watching. This is Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.